Who's there? Um, Paula, Paula Buckingham, you're muted. I bet we're not supposed to be even. What do I know? We know. There okay. you go. Yes, I'm Tammy Strumelow's mom. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Hi, Sydney. <laughs> hi, Te hi, Deb. You know, I'd do the back way. I think that would be better. Yeah. Now, are we muted? Not anymore. Oh, hello. I'm Hello. It looks like some folks came for supper. Hi. Hey. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I just noticed that the um, Zoom invitation info hadn't made it onto the website, so I was worried it was just going to be me and Janice. <laughs> Hi, Janice. I look, there's other people, but I'm just discovering I can't read your names when I'm speaking. Oh, look at all the folks. This is so exciting. Oh, I haven't seen some of you in a while. Hey, look, there's the Irvings. Hi. Hi. Oh, and the Strumelows are sitting at their table. What a pretty table. Oh, and who's that? Uh, wow, that looks so nice. Look Everybody's table looks so nice. Yeah. Oh, and, and look, the Snopes are here. And... Paula Buckingham, good to see you. All right, is it time? Is it time to start? I, I already Before did. you start, I want to know what Paula Cheney has for dinner. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> what what you for dinner? <laughs> did you hear me, Janice? Hit the hit the space bar for me. It's unmuted, Paul. You're on. Okay, planned overs, Janice. I love planned overs. I don't know what that is, but I bet it's awesome. It's, it's, it's so over when you intended to make them for several days. Did you hear what Paul said? You have. It's oh. intentional leftovers. In other words, you plan something that can. And something that can last more than one day. And so instead of being left over, they're really not left over. They were always intended to be part of the meals. So planned overs. It's a much better oh, word. Planned over. I thought you were saying over. I thought you were saying clam overs. Yeah. Well the, they get clams can work as leftovers too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Now, we're jealous. We just have some pretzels here. We haven't got to make dinner yet. <laughs> Oh, well, we haven't either. We, haven't we'll either. Do it after. <laughs> we just have our symbolic stuff here. Oh, okay. Right? We haven't, I don't have dinner ready because this is wine. what Jenny and I have been doing. We've been doing a very moldy Thursday thing, and I didn't realize it was a Thursday thing. This week we've been doing. <laughs> You'll never guess who's coming to dinner at my house. Oh, what did Doug make? Um, what did he brought? He got the wine out of the wine cellar. Perfect. <laughs> that was important. Yeah, because Doug? fire. Really? All right. So. I think so. Somebody else already ate. I think, unless anybody has other questions or announcements. 
I'm so. part part of the time. Pastor Tom is is um, is in the control room, um, pulling levers, sort of like in um, Wizard of Oz. I'm the wizard. Wizard of Oz, <laughs> the man behind the screen. <laughs> so if you find yourself muted, it's because he just felt like it. Mm -hmm. so, um, we're, we're about ready to start. I'm so glad that you all came to Passover today, Passover meal today. Um, for those who um, need a little reminder, Passover is a very, very old celebration. It comes from when Moses led the people of Israel, who weren't from Israel yet, out of Egypt, where they were slaves. And he was, as he was trying to talk, Moses this is, trying to talk Pharaoh out of letting the people go, God helped him by visiting various nasty plagues on the, on the people of Egypt so that Pharaoh would let the people go. And one of them was a people of death to visit each house. And so to keep them safe, the Israelites killed a lamb and that became their dinner. And they took the blood from the lamb and they wiped it on their dory lintel so that people, the angel of death coming over, would know not to take anybody from this house. And so ever since, the people of Israel have celebrated the Passover. So here we are many years, many years later, but about 2,000 years ago, Jesus a good Jewish boy celebrated a new kind of Passover with his disciples. It was to be his last meal before he would be crucified. But now Jesus was the lamb, the one who was being sacrificed. He was the one sacrificed so that all God's children could live fully in God's love as God intended humans to live. And so here we are, gathered another 2,000 years later around our tables. And since we can't be around one, we're around each of these tables, all of us here together. We're families of every size, from one to, I don't know, who's got the most? I don't know, maybe the Housels. Um, to five or six, gathered together to celebrate Jesus' sacrifice his sacrifice for us all. So we're gathered to celebrate a Passover for today. So I'd like for us to make sure we have everything we need at our table. So you're going to see a list in just a moment when the control guy gets to it of the things that you're going to need. Maybe you've already gathered them. You'll need a bowl with some salted water in it and something green to dip in. You'll need a bowl with some water in it to wash feet or hands or whatever. You'll need some bread or crackers or matzah. You'll need some wine or juice and a, bowl and a glass to put it in. And you'll need anything else that your family wants to eat, like we have some wine, cheese, and grapes. And don't forget candles. This kind of a celebration needs candles. So while you take a minute to make sure that you've got all of those things, all those ingredients for our meal together tonight, we're going to learn a nice, nice, Jewish Passover Seder song. And our nice control guy, who is so with it, is going to cue that up for us and we're going to sing. You can, I don't, I think you're muted now, so you can sing unabashedly and no one will hear you along with the guy. Uh, while we're doing that. Hey everybody, today I want to talk about everybody's favorite song at the Seder. Dayenu, you know the one that goes, Dai, Dai, Enu, Dai, Dai, Enu. Stop! What does it even mean? Okay, I'll tell you. It means it would have been enough. This song is all about all of these amazing things that God did for us. 
But even if God just did one of those things, it would have been enough. If God had just taken us out of Egypt, that would have been enough. If God had just given us the Torah, that would have been enough. If God had just given us Shabbat, that would have been enough. But God gave us all these things, Dayenu, we're so thankful. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. It sounds like this. We'll start with the chorus. We just say, Dai Dai Enu. Dai Dai Enu. Dai Dai Enu. Dai Dai Enu. Dai Enu. Dai Enu. Sing it with me. Dai Dai Enu. Dai Dai Enu. Yeah, you got it. Dai Dai Enu. Dai Enu. Dai Enu. Ilu Hotsi Hotsi Anu Hotsi Anu. Oh, no, me, Mitzrayim, Hotsi, ya, no, me, Mitzrayim, die, no. Sing it with me now. Die, die, no. Die, die, no. Die, die, no. Die, no. Die, no. Yilu, Nata, Nata, Lanu, Nata, Lanu, Eta, Tora, Nata, Lanu, Eta, Tora, die. You got the hang of it. Die, die, no. Sounds good. Die, die, no. Die, die, no. Die, no. Die, no. Let's sing it again. Die, die, no. Okay. Die, die, no. Die, die, no. Die, no. Die, no. Ilu nata nata lanu nata lanu et hashabat nata lanu et hashabat dai. All right, come on, guys, sing it nice and loud. Dai dai enu, dai dai enu, yeah. Dai dai enu, dai enu, dai enu. One more time. Dai dai enu, dai dai enu, dai dai. I didn't hear anyone. Happy Passover, everybody. You gotta admit that was fun. Have you learned it? If we all sang it together, it would sound like gobbledygook because of the delay, but um, you can sing it to your beloved people in your family later after the art. Passover meal is over. So we are finished with our gathering and we're inviting the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit calls us together as the people of God. And at this time, the mother in each family, and if a mother isn't here, then whoever gets the job gets to light the candles. Ah, I see your Jenny's going to do it. So we're going to light the candles and then we're going to say a prayer. Thank you. Daffodils gonna get it for me. And so let us have the mother in the family or another adult pray with us. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created us and sustains us. Amen. A nice prayer that does begin this Sunday. Friends in Christ, in this Lenten season, we have heard our Lord's call to struggle against sin, death, and the devil, all that keeps us from loving God and each other. This is the struggle to which we were called at baptism. Within the community of the church, God never wearies of forgiving sin and giving peace of reconciliation. On this night, let us confess our sin against God and our neighbor and be reconciled with God and with one another. And we are going to pray together the words that are going to magically appear on your screen. Most merciful God, 
we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may walk in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. And God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By mercy, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Another piece of the tradition that has gone all the way up through the ages is hand washing. As a sign of God's forgiveness that wipes away our sin, and as Jesus stooped to bless his disciples as he washed their feet, let us now wash one another's hands using water or sanitizer, each one washing and drying the next. And you can do feet if you want. And as we do, we'll hear this commandment read by the oldest person present. So I don't know who the oldest person present is there. Who's old? Not Jenny. I don't know. I know uh, that Mr. Uh, Keener is as yes, old as I am. Him. Okay, would you mind reading as we wash? Sure, if I can see the prayer. You'll see it in a moment, I'm sure. Gospel according to St. John, the 13th chapter. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. And so after washing his disciples, Jesus sat down to eat the Passover meal with them. They remembered the ways God had saved them at the first Passover. And you'll know that if you've ever been privileged to attend a Seder, the uh, Passover meal, that one of the things that they do is the Jewish people take a bitter herb, a vegetable, usually parsley or something, but anything will do. I've got some, some celery here. They take something like that and they remember the ways that God had served them. They remember as they dip it in salty water that they remember the tears that they shed and they remember that they wet those tears and the bitterness of living in, um, in Egypt. So let each person taste of the vegetable dipped in salty water. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they tasted unleavened bread, as Jews do today. 
it spoke to them of the time when escaping Egypt and when they couldn't wait for the bread to rise, they ate it flat, unrisen, like a cracker. So let each person taste the cracker or bread, thinking of God's saving love that fed the Israelites on the first Passover, or of the manna God supplied to feed them on their journey through the desert. We, though, in our Passover for today, we hear Jesus' words from Luke, the 23rd chapter. And this is something that a child would read. I wonder if Sydney might like to read it. I thought I saw Sydney there at some point. When he had eaten, he had finished washing oh, there. Just, just, is that the one we're at? I thought we already did that one. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them, you call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Do I keep going? Yeah. Now that I... I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet and also should wash one wash one other's feet. One one other feet one other's feet. I have set in you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than than his master nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if I do them. Thank you, Sydney. And so we served one another, didn't we? Now we're going to hear a part that's special for our Passover today as we hear Jesus' words from Luke 23. Uh, or Luke 22, I'm sorry. Um, and how, let's see, who would like to read this one? Um, if somebody wants to wave to show us that you'd like to read. Oh, it's for Kevin. Devin. Devin, go for it. <laughs> then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance for me. Beautiful, thank you. Perhaps those first followers of Jesus, as they ate that Passover meal and drank the wine, prayed as Jewish people do today. Blessed are you, God our God, King of the universe, who has redeemed us and redeemed our fathers from Egypt and enabled us to attain this night to eat unrisen bread and bitter herbs. We shall thank you with a new song for our redemption and for deliverance of our souls. Blessed are you, God, who redeemed Israel. And so praying, perhaps like Jews today, they drank from the wine provided. Let each person drink of the wine or juice, thanking God for deliverance. And Haley, would you like to read? Am I saying it wrong? Housel? Don't hearing anything. How about Shelly? Is, is yeah. she, would you like to read? Um, we can't see all the words. 
all our our selves are in the way, aren't they? Yes. Oh no. Maybe I can change the view. Um, what so, did I change it to? Well, you can you can just you can just actually uh, shrink that down if you just go in the upper left corner. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, you can move it off the screen. Yep. Just um, well, if you have to hold it there, though. <laughs> There you go. There we go. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, this cup is poured out for you, is the new covenant in my blood. Beautiful, thank you. We who gather around our tables tonight live in the beginnings of God's promised new age. We listen for God's word spoken in the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter. We hear of this new covenant that Jesus proclaimed. Now, the reader could be, let's see, anybody specially want to read? Mr. Irving, would you like to read? This is the Holy Gospel for Maundy Thursday. The Gospel according to St. John, the 13th chapter. When he had gone out from the meal, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. And isn't this what it's all about? Let me see if I can get the speaker. And isn't this what it's all about? That from the very first Passover, when God saved God's people from the tyranny of slavery in Egypt, to God sending God's own child to live among us, to teach us and love us and forgive us, to Jesus gathering his followers around a new Passover meal, where he served them with forgiveness and love as he washed their feet, where he gave them his body to eat and his blood to drink, that they might remember Jesus' death on a cross. All of it, all of the long relationship between God and God's children has been about God's remaking us all, freeing us, redeeming us to be a community, a community who love, who care for, who respect, one another and who reach out to care for and love a hurting world this is what jesus comes for this is why he dies that we separated by miles or sitting around the same table can strengthen one another to enjoy and share jesus love and peace so let us raise our glasses once more, in unity and blessing one another, say, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, we're gonna get a screen. You don't have to do it from memory. <laughs> Here we go. All right, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. And may the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. And to all of you, we drink. And then, tracing a cross on one another's foreheads, say these words, God loves you, and so do I. And there's nothing that you can do to stop it. God loves you, and so do I. There's nothing you can do to stop it. God loves you, and so do I, and there's nothing you can do to stop it.
And then if there is a child in our group who hasn't spoken yet, I don't know, is Bennett there? I didn't notice. He is not here. He's oh, my other child is here. I want a Bennett. Oh, uh, that would be a good child. Let us have the, that other child read for us the blessing. Uh, yeah, go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, B. What did you do with Bennett? <laughs> uh, great question. He needed a little break. Sometimes these Zoom things are a little much for him, so he kind of just took uh -huh. time I'll, out. Well, tell him we missed him. I will. Thank you. I just went and blessed his forehead. Oh, good. So you can sit around and is that Jason drinking again? Yes. We can sit around and visit for a little while before we uh, totally go in peace and serve the Lord. How's everybody doing? Good. Thank you. Everybody's doing all right. I've been chatting a little on um, text with Tammy Roselli about that. Yeah. Hmm. Tammy says that Carrie uh, has to be working and they're worried because he's so exposed in what he does with others. And so she is hanging out down at the chore house to be separated from, from the germs. So that's a little scary. I had a question. Does anyone know the Jewish people when they have their Seda, do they do it on a certain night of the Passover? Or is, I know it's like the second night tonight or something. I thought it was the first, but I do not know that for certain. Okay. It's the first night. My my uh my business partner and his family are together yesterday all together. So we've been privileged enough to go down there a few times to to, to celebrate with them, which is really quite special. Mm. Interesting. And you drain the glass each time. At least I did. Oh, yes. <laughs> the I first think. time I went to a theater, I was in high school and I hadn't had much experience drinking wine. Just a communion. And when they said drink it, I drank it. And I, by the time we did the horror at the end, I was really. Good. <laughs> yeah, they do. A, they do sort of a contemporary version, a kind of a shorter version, because, my, as my partner would say, you know, this can go all night long, and after a while, that much wine really does everybody in. So <laughs> they pour a little bit in each glass, but you do drain it each time. Yeah. And so it's death by a thousand cuts if you're not careful. I think since I was a newbie, they put a little more in my glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might have a different family, you know. They're That's all true. <laughs> I can't tell who that is. It's sitting in front of the light. It's Donald. Oh, good, good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Hey, so Pastor Jay, maybe you can explain tomorrow what there's a, a couple of different services or? There are. So um, Pastor Tom and I arm wrestled <laughs> who could do, who would do Good Friday and it was a draw. <laughs> and so he's doing his and I'm doing mine. Um, and so his, why don't you talk about yours? Can you? Put yourself on, Tom. Uh, I can actually. Actually, I can make myself seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the man coming, the coming out from behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard of Omen. Uh, so, uh, yes, the f the first service, which will be uh, up on YouTube in the morning, and it'll be on the website, is um, a Stations of the Cross, uh, and we've done this a number of years. It's really geared toward. Um, What's well, it's for everyone, uh, but it is especially um, geared toward children. It's very simple, and uh, actually Jenny is my worship assistant, uh, and uh, she is uh, she does a wonderful job, and she reads all the prayers and really tells the story. And uh, so that will be available throughout the day tomorrow, starting first thing in the morning. It's called Walk with Jesus, by the way. Pastor, 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 did you say, did you say 
first thing in the morning or 11 a.m which one um uh, i i think i did i i gave myself some room just to make sure i had time to finish it but i finished it so it'll be it'll be up first thing in the morning okay. so whenever you'd like to to watch it tomorrow it will be available thank you and you can also or you can um whichever you like to go to or both um at seven o'clock we have a service of light and shadows um which we taped yesterday it is uh, solo music and uh, organ and uh, the cross in front of the sanctuary and a slow extinguishing of candles. It's a uh, service in darkness. I hope enough light that you can see it. I don't know, did you look at it, Pastor Tom, enough to know if you can see it? it, it oh, you can definitely see it. It looks good. Oh, okay. So um, it's about a 45 minute um meditative service on jesus crucifixion i hope it's pretty will that be uh available is that only live at seven or will that be available after seven as well seven and going forward seven p.m and at this service um all of our silliness is going up it's being uh recorded we haven't done that before, <laughs> but um, so I just wanted to say there's a one, one silver lining in all this is um, is that I feel like um, we get to be in each other's houses <laughs> and it's nice um, Eating together, even though I'm, I haven't finished making dinner yet, but um, it just, it's a real communal feel um, because everybody's in their own home, and it's, it's, um, it's very different, but it's in a really, a really nice way. It's really, um, I've, I've been enjoying these, these, uh, these meetings in our coffee hour, too. I think it's a, a real warm experience. Mm -hmm. I agree. It is. And so what are the houses eating? Um, we have a chicken and green bean casserole. Yum. That's the only sad part is we can't share the food. Yeah. <laughs> it is nice to attend service on Sundays in your PJs. <laughs> <laughs> Large, we missed you. You're late. I am. I lost track of time. <laughs> Can you imagine me losing track of time? <laughs> You're going to have to drink up, Marge. We're ahead of you on the wine. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll go get some. <laughs> we figured you were making dinner for Fred. <laughs> well, he's not home yet. This is but, early, you know. Yeah. He was well, coming home early, but tonight he's late, so I never know. <laughs> Luckily, we recorded this service, and he can watch it later. You got to make him do that. Oh, um, that's a question for him. You gotta make him. What am I going to make him do? He has to do that. He has to watch. What is he doing? I didn't hear what you said. You have to make him. You make him. You have to make him watch this service now. Now that's been being recorded. Oh sure, that's not yeah. a problem. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. I got it. Who needs a man when you got your wine opener, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, if there are no other questions from the group, let's ask Jason to dismiss us one more time. <laughs> Go and eat. Thanks be the Lord. Amen. Have a nice <laughs> evening, everyone. Enjoy your dinner. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.